Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd and Korea. We're continuing our budget pre-con upgrade series and we're looking at green this time. So green cards to upgrade. What is budget? Usually when I say budget, I mean $2 or less, $1 or less. So under a buck, super cheap. And that's using the TCG market value, not a sponsor. Okay, green is known for ramp and big creatures. Are the, probably the two things it's really famous for. Uh, this sort of like recursion, a bunch of other little things. But anyway, this is mostly focused on adding flexibility while still kind of in this already good at. Um, there are a lot of cards to choose from. So this is a hard list to narrow down. I feel like blue was hard, but this is much harder. I think green and black are going to be the trickiest ones. Number five. Scale up. So this is one green for an, a sorcery. Until end of turn, target creature you control becomes a worm with base power and toughness 6-4. So there's a bit of a warning here. Remember, if you have any kind of like kindred anthems, like all elves get uh, plus one, plus one. As soon as they become a worm, this no longer applies to them, right? So be careful of that, but yeah. The really good thing about this is you can overload it for four green green, meaning it hits all of your creatures. All of your creatures are worms with base power 6-4. Base power means they can, they can still benefit from bonuses. So if there's plus one plus one counters, or if you've got any kind of like static bonuses, like attacking creatures get plus two attack, awesome, that still applies. The, the base power is really what it like what it says in the card or if it's a token if it's a one one token becomes a six four token so any kind of token decks any kind of like plus one plus one counter decks um this is crazy 54 cents number four champion of lamb holt uh one green green for this one one creatures with power less than champion land holds can't attack or can't block creatures you control so basically she's a one one so nothing right only zero zero is lower or zero one i guess um they wouldn't be able to attack it oh i guess they can attack they just can't do damage but anyway whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control another creature not non-token creature just another creature uh, put a plus one plus one counter on champion of lamb Holt. So especially with like token decks anything where you're just casting creatures um, Anything entering the battlefield under your control She's getting plus one plus one every time so you could like equip her with something that boosts her power or um, Just cast a whole bunch of creatures or get a whole bunch of tokens and um, Yeah, she's gonna make it so your opponents cannot block you that's your win con right there. This is I put this win con into a lot of green decks. Um, this is one of my go-tos. 84 cents. Number three. Analyze the pollen. This is one of the newer cards. I love this. I guess the second newest card. I love this card. I think it's very underrated. So for one green, um, you can search a library for a basic land card. Um, put into your hand um a lot of people don't like that effect they think it's not great remember a lot of people are focusing on ramp right they want a lots of ramp and they don't end up getting the lands into their hand for land drop if you're ramping and missing land drop you're not ramping you're just paying extra for land drop um even it's only a basic land sure but if you've got a multicolored deck a lot of times that kind of fixing is super valuable as well, but this gets way better. You can also uh, collect evidence eight. That means exile cards with total value eight or greater from your graveyard. Not going to be too hard to do, right? Eight is not crazy high. Um, and they can be any cards. They just have to add up to eight value uh, or mana cost value. And uh, then you can find any creature or any land. So it gets rid of the basic requirements. It can be any land or any creature. 
especially any creature, you can probably just fish out some kind of win con right there. Um, this is just so useful. I have no idea why it has not got... This is a, one of those cards where I expect it to go way up in value, and it has just been kind of staying around the same way under a dollar value. It should not be. It's a. It, it's just an incredible card. Um, one mana sorcery to potentially fish out any creature you want. Like, yeah, okay, you have to collect evidence eight. You've got stuff in your graveyard. You might as well get extra value, right? Um, this is just such a good one. 26 cents only. Hmm. Number two. Verdant Confluence. This is another one of my go-to cards. Um, four green green for a sorcery. Okay, that's right there already. Most people's complaint about this card is six CMC, right? The converted mana cost of six is high. I'm not going to argue with that. It does three things. So basically two mana per effect. What you need to think about is like card value, right? This is basically three cards in one. Um, if you think about it that way, it's two mana per effect and it's all packed onto one card. That's so much more efficient. If you're drawing this card, you're basically drawing three cards. Three cards that can do whatever you want. Or not whatever you want, but three things. Again, so choose three. You may choose the same mode more than once. Put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. So you can put up to six plus one plus ones on a creature. Crazy. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Again, so not instant, not sorcery. Any other, per any permanent you can put back to your hand. Creature, planeswalker, um, enchantment, artifact. Back to hand, no problem. I guess battle as well. If you use battles, I'm going. To, that's a different rant. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield, tapped, then shuffle. Basic land straight to the battlefield, not to hand. To the battlefield, you could do three basic lands. That's ramp, right? Two mana per basic land ramp is not bad, especially if you've got like a multicolor deck. This is just going to set you up so nicely because you're going to have all your mana fixing done. If you have a three color deck, um, this is all three colors you can go get right there. Okay, you're set. 23 cents only. Number one. I love the art on, he's, look at him, he's got a little pipe. He's like glancing over at you. Uh, Trail Tracker Scout. Uh, for a one and a green. So it's two for this mana dork. Mana dorks people want one mana a lot of times. I think maybe that's why this isn't crazy expensive already. But tap to, or for a one three. That's the first thing I want to point out. It sees a one three, not a one one. A lot of mana dorks have lower toughness. Um, that's kind of their downside. He's three is respectable at least. It's not great, it's not terrible. But you can tap to add one mana of any color great start right getting any mana color you want whenever you expend eight return up to one target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand anytime you use eight mana in a turn you're just automatically getting this extra recursion effect that's an extra spell that costs like one or two mana just to for that effect and a card usually and this is just something you're going to be doing automatically just for like casting spells like normal it is 8 mana, so it's not an early game thing, but even as early game, having a, a mana dork that makes any color mana is great. Throughout the whole game, that's great. And uh, mid to late game, that expend 8 is just going to keep throwing things that you want back into your hand, so you can keep pumping them out again. Um, just, uh, this is the a card I look at and I say, this is going to go way up in value. This is going to be like a green staple in no time. Anyway, 74 cents. The list. Scale up, 54 cents. Uh, Champion of Lamholt, 84 cents. Analyze the Pollen, 26 cents. Verdant Confluence, 23 cents. So undervalued. Trail Tracker Scout, 74 cents. Uh, Alright, take it easy.